I have here what we can call a wave machine. And what it does is create transverse waves and compression waves. And it lets us have a look at the direction in which the particles move and the direction in which the wave moves. I'm going to begin by turning this handle here and I want you to have a look at the crest of the transverse wave, that's this one here. And what you should be able to notice is the direction in which each individual dark particle is moving. Is it moving up and down or is it moving to back, backwards and forwards? In other words, what direction are each of those particles moving? Then I want you to have a look at the crest. In other words, the direction of the wave or the trough. In what direction are the troughs moving? In what direction are the crests moving? Is it to the right or is it to the left? Now the direction in which they are moving is what we call the direction of the wave. And the, the way in which the particles move uh, is the direction in which the particles are moving. The other thing I want you to have a look at is the movement of the particles at the front of the wave. In other words, this part here from the middle of the trough up to the crest. In what direction are they moving? Are they moving up or down? In other words, at every part of the front of the wave, is that moving up or down? So looking at the particles at the front of the wave, are they moving up or are they moving down? Then I want you <clears throat> then I want you to have a look at the particles at the back of the wave here. In what direction are they moving? They're all moving in the same direction. Are they moving down or are they moving up? And the other thing that you can notice is at what point are those particles stationary for an instant, a single moment. Well, that is the transverse wave. Now, the other wave that we are familiar with is the compression wave. And <clears throat> otherwise known as the longitudinal wave. And this section here demonstrates the longitudinal wave. Again, what I want you to do is to have a look to see in what direction are the parts of the wave moving. Here you can see the particles are close together and we know, or we call that, a compression. Here the particles of the, of the wave are further apart, they're far apart, and we call that, of course, a rarefaction. Rare rare In what direction does the compression move when I crank the handle, or in what direction does the rarefaction move? Now the compression and the rarefactions are moving in the same direction. That is the direction of the wave. Rarefaction here. It's moving. Compression here. The compression is moving in what direction? Down here, rarefaction, the rarefaction is going. 
new compression now. This compression is going. Okay, so you've got the idea there that the compression and the rarefaction are moving in the same direction, first of all, and the direction of the wave is therefore in this direction. If we have a look at individual particles in that wave, perhaps you can see uh, one of these dots here which is marked in white. Have a look to see what it's doing. Hopefully you identify that as moving in the line of the wave along the same axis that the wave has. So in other words, the wave is moving up, but our particles, individual particles, they are moving along the same line of the wave, the same axis of the wave. Over here, when we were looking at our transverse wave, uh, we said that the wave was moving in this direction, but the particles are moving at right angles. They are moving across the line of the wave or across the axis of the wave. And this is why they're called a transverse wave. You might know or might be aware that trans uh, often means across. You have transport words like that. So that's the way in which these particles are moving and I hope this little video is helpful.